Hi, in this video, I want to talk about stable diffusion as well as other AI text-to-image software. After using it for a while, I can tell you with certainty that it is not safe to use at home or at workplace. Now, I do find some solution to some of the issue, which I will be talking about in this video. However, not all the issue is addressed because it's very complicated uh, how the software generate images. So let's talk about right now. All right, so I've been working with AI text-to-image software for a while now. I've been spending hundreds of hours trying to figure out ways to make the software safe. And I can tell you right now, I did my best, and even what I did still cannot make it completely safe, whether it's at home or at workplace. However, there's something that we can do, myself and you, who are using these technology, how we can try to minimize the inappropriateness of these technology. All right, so let's talk about some of the solution that I came up with, and I'll tell you the problem first, and then We'll talk about the solution, okay? And then maybe I'll address at the end what you know what would be the possibility that can be done. All right. So using stable diffusion and other related software, the AI text to image software, the problem with these technology is that the unfiltered images that comes from these, uh, I would say, software a bunch of uh, packages uh, that generate images are not safe for children or even for adults. The reason for that is when you uh, do a prompt, and let's say you said a woman in a bedroom, for example. Some of these, and actually most of them, uh, the AI models are actually inappropriate in nature. They're very graphic. And so I would advise teens, young children, not use this technology at all, especially offline. It needs to be censored for young adults and uh, teen and young children. For sure, they should not be touching these type of technology if it's not being appropriately uh, filtered properly. Now, I do have some suggestion, and I'll talk about that. So, one thing is when you're using these models, right? These uh, AI uh, text-to-image models, make sure you get the proper one, and there's thousands of them. Okay, so number one, try to get one that is free from inappropriate images. So, the generation of the image that comes out of it should be clean. Now, how do you do that? Well, there are two I recommend, and it's not guaranteed, but it also depends on your prompt as well, right? Let's say you uh, made an uh, appropriate, safe prompt uh, to get the image, right? The two uh, models I would recommend is Jagunot XL, okay? That's, from what I tried, it works pretty well. And the other one, I'll provide a link below. And the other one is called Manomar. Let me just have a look at it. I have it on my list. Yeah. Manmaro Mix. Okay, that's another uh, model that is also quite good. That's for generating animation type of images. Whereas Jackknot XL is generating more realistic images. So these two I re highly recommend, although it's not guaranteed that it won't produce inappropriate images. Right, so it depends on your prompts that you put in. So that's the second thing. Number two, make sure you put in the proper, clean prompts. Right. So when you write, you know, try to avoid using female, uh, woman, all those stuff. Just put in men walking on the street or men uh, in the cafeteria. Right. If you want to use female, make sure you describe uh, clearly what it should be like. For example, female in a long, fully dressed coat, something like that, and the image will show accordingly, okay? And try to avoid situation where it's very inappropriate in the image processing, okay? So those are important when you're trying to generate images. So number one, get the right model, which I have a suggestion. You can check the link uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. Number two, Make sure you have appropriate prompts, okay? And uh, there are actually a 
group of safe keywords that you can use and um, you can check the link below as well where you can find those appropriate keywords, right? What else? This, let me see what else I put down here. Yes, so another thing is number three, try to avoid generating uh, female images, right? So what you want to do is generate, like for example, a landscape, uh, images, animals, and all that, and then maybe generate, uh, uh, if you have to, female or male images in fully closed scenario, and then you can also green screen it and put it in. That might help, okay? So these are something that you could do step by step to make sure the image are clean and appropriate, okay? Number four, um, make sure uh, if you're using at workplace, I would say more likely you shouldn't be using at workplace unless it's um, uh, allowed in workplace because yeah, you don't wanna be caught. Just innocently, you know, you generate an image and you even know, right? So just be careful with that. And if you do, make sure you delete it right away uh, because you should, not, you should not have these type of images in workplace and especially at home. So if you're generating this images, these images at home, make sure you delete it if it's inappropriate. And if you have children, teens, uh, who's using the technology, uh, make sure you monitor it 100%, okay? Because these images are inappropriate and very graphic and not suitable for children for sure, and even the adults. So that's very important. I would say never let your kid use this technology without you being there, right? Don't let them install these AI uh, generated offline images because it is um, not filtered, right? The word they use um, or the phrase or the acronym is NSFW, not safe for workplace. I would say, I would go beyond that, not safe for home use. <laughs> Okay, so make sure that you don't let your kids use this technology unless you monitor it, okay? So that's very important. And I guess the way I would describe it is, it's a technology like similar to Lord of the Rings. It's like, you know, those ring that these creatures are wearing are controlling them, right? You can't control the ring the ring control you. And similarly, these uh, AI software technology, unless you know how to control it properly, it is uncontrollable, right? Because it's sometimes random, some image comes out and you didn't even describe that. So just make sure you have the appropriate models. Now I already gave you two, Jagnaut XL and um, Manmora Mix is the other one. And you can check the link below, but there are others. Um, maybe in the future, I'll uh, give you some more of these models that's quite safe or at least safe enough for uh, the prompts, okay? But I would say majority of it are not safe. So be aware when you're using it, uh, it is gonna give you a problem, okay? So don't use it in a workplace and definitely don't use it at home unless you know what you're doing. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.